7.8 magnitude earthquake hit Turkey and Syria early on Monday, killing hundreds of people as they slept, traveling buildings, leveling buildings and sending rumors that were filled as far away as the island of Cyprus and Egypt. One of the largest to strike Turkey in at least a century wiped out intersections of major cities in a region filled with millions of people who have fled the civil war in Syria and other conflicts. The head of Syria's National Earthquake Center, Raith Ahmed, told pro-government radio that this was historically the biggest earthquake recorded in the history of the center. At least 245 people died in government-controlled parts of Syria, as well as the northern areas held by pro-Turkish factions. According to the health ministry and the local hospital, at least 284 people died in Turkey. Vice President Fuat Okte said on Monday, adding that more than 2,300 people had been injured and that search and rescue work was continuing in several major cities. The rescue was being hampered by a winter blizzard that covered major roads in ice and snow. Television images showed shocked people in Turkey standing in the snow in their pajamas, watching rescuers dig through the debris of damaged homes. The quake struck at 4.17 a.m. local time at a depth of about 17.9 kilometers near the Turkish city of Gajerde, which is home to around 2 million people. The U.S. Geological Survey said the Turkish region of Duce suffered a 7.4 magnitude earthquake in 1999, the worst to hit Turkey in decades. That quake killed more than 17,000 people, including about 1,000 in Istanbul. Experts have long warned a large quake could devastate Istanbul, which has allowed widespread building without safety precautions. A magnitude 6.8 quake hit Ilazik in January 2020, killing more than 40 people. And in October that year, the magnitude 7.0 quake hit Turkey's Aegean coast, killing 114 people and owned in more than 1,000.